Hey everybody, Mr. MathLog here. This lesson is uh, problem solving uh, with fraction operations. This is our last lesson in Chapter 2, Section 210. And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathLog.com. And there's two sixth grade classes uh, at MrMathLog.com. I don't have that ready to show you that, but make sure you pick the one that just says uh, sixth grade. The other one is for sixth grade California. So uh, anyways, you'll find this lesson in there. So. So there's our common core strand for our really groovy teachers and be nice to your teachers. And here's our question. How do we use the strategy using a model? We're going to use bar models on this lesson here to solve a division problem. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, before we get started here, we're going to access some prior knowledge. Okay, do you guys remember when you take half a number, it's the same as dividing it by 2? So for example, half of 20 is 10 because 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10. Well, sometimes you guys, and especially in this lesson, we're going to take half of a fraction. So when you take half of a fraction, you just multiply that fraction by one half, or you just double the denominator. So for example, one half of this fraction, one half, is the same as one half times one half, which is one fourth. Okay, or just double the denominator. Just double that denominator and make it a four right there. Or say, say we did a half of a fourth. Well, it's one half times one fourth, which is one eighth. Can you see that if I double that denominator, it just becomes that? So half of an eighth. What's half of an eighth? Double the denominator and it just becomes one sixteenth. Okay, it's not sixteen. It's one sixteenth. Okay, so. Uh, one eighth is half of a fourth because this is double that denominator. One sixteenth is half of an eighth because it's double that denominator, etc., etc., etc. So one one hundredth is half of one fiftieth because it's that denominator doubled right there. Okay, so we're going to use that strategy in this lesson here. So so Bob has three fourths of a cup of gorp. What is gorp? I'll talk about that in a second. So each uh, day he took one eighth of a pound to school for a snack. If he had one fourth of a pound left over, how many days did Bob take the GORP to school? Okay, well, GORP, you guys, GORP is uh, what uh, hikers use a lot of times, and GORP stands for good old raisins and peanuts. And it can come in many different formulas, but its common ingredients are, are either granolas or some sort of nuts, raisins, or any other kind of dried fruit, sometimes some chocolate and pretzels and cereals, so it's just a nice uh, quick nutrient fix uh, that uh, for hikers they can just grab a handful of it and eat it while they're hiking up a trail and stuff. So there's all kinds of ways to make GORP. So anyways, let's go ahead and answer some questions for this word problem that Bob's doing. So what do we need to find? Well, that's always this last piece right here. We need to find out how many days Bob took uh, GORP to school right there. So what information are we going to use? Well, Bob started with, he started with three quarters of a pound of GORP right there and uh, uh, and he took how many uh, pounds of uh, GORP to school each day he took an eighth of a pound each day it looks like I have one too many periods right there whoops anyway so took an eighth of a pound each day to school and how much did he have left over well he had one fourth left over okay so how are we going to use this information well we're going to draw a bar model to model to find out how much uh, GORP Bob uses and how many days he took it to school okay alright so here's a bar model let's first start off with a pound okay now it says Bob has three-fourths of a pound, so we're going to cut this up into fourths right there, okay? So there's three, so we're going to use just these three right here, so we don't need that one right there. So there's, there's three-fourths of a pound right there. Okay, now, it says uh, he had one-fourth of a pound left over, so one of these is going to be left over right here, so this will be the leftover part, so Bob's going to take this part to school right there, okay? So he's going to, um, so it looks like this is how much he used up and this is how much he has over. So here's that one fourth right there. And then so this is actually one half right there. One fourth and one fourth is two fourths right there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, it, we're going to represent uh, each day he took an eighth. Do you remember that one eighth? is half of a fourth because it's the denominator doubled. So what we're going to do is cut this in half and represent it as an eighth. This will be an eighth, this will be an eighth, this will be an eighth, this will be an eighth. So he took eighths of a pound to school right there, okay? All right, so this model shows that Bob used, how much did Bob use? Well, he used this much right here. This much represented, remember, the whole 
pound was right there, so Bob used a half of a pound. So this is how much he took to school. He took to school a half of a pound right there. And so how many groups of one-eighth are equivalent to that half a pound right here? So here's a half of a pound, one, two, three, four. So four groups of one-eighth are equivalent to half of a pound. So one-eighth divided by, I'm sorry, one-half, this half pound divided by one-eighth equals those four equal groups. So Bob took uh, Gork to school for four days. Okay, see how that bar model helped? All right, let's try another one, you guys. For a science experiment, uh, Mrs. Nelson divided two-thirds of a cup of salt into small containers. And each of the containers uh, contained one-twelfth of a cup. And then she had one-sixth of a cup of salt left over. So how many containers did she fill? Okay. All right, so what do we need to find? Well, this is uh, how many containers she needed to fill. That's always the last little piece right there. All right, so what information are we going to use? Well, we're going to use uh, the fact that she started with two-thirds of a cup, and then she put into containers one-twelfth of a cup into each container. Don't forget she had a sixth of a cup left over, okay? How are we going to use this information? Well, the same thing. We're going to draw a bar model to help us find how much salt Mrs. Nelson used and how many containers she used to fill it. We're also going to figure out how many um, uh, that was left over that she didn't use. Okay, so there's one cup right there. Now it says uh, she she uh, had two-thirds of a cup. So we're going to cut this up into thirds. So into thirds is going to be right about there and right about there. So they're equal into thirds right there. And there's our two-thirds right there. So this other part we're not going to need right there. Okay, all right. Now remember, this is one whole cup. Now it says she had, so this is a third and this is a third right there to give us that two thirds right there. It said she had one sixth of a cup left over. So if I, I cut this one third in half because a six is a half of a third. Do you remember that? Because this is double uh, the denominator of a third. So right in the middle right here is going to represent a sixth right there. Okay. So check this out. If we draw this in right here, and I wish I had drawn the whole one right here, but if we, when we draw the this line in here this is actually a half of a cup on this side and the other half of a cup is on this side because the whole cup is this whole thing right there so when we take that remember right here is going to be one sixth right here because this is one third okay you guys follow me right there so here's how much is left over so that means she used this much right here well this much was half of the full cup right there, okay? All right, let's go ahead and answer some questions here. Okay, so remember, 1 12th is going to be half of this 1 6. So this was 1 6, so if we cut them in half, it'll give us 1 12th right there. All right, so she uses 1 12th in the half of a cup right there, because this is half of a cup right there. So how many 1 12ths are in there? Okay, so let's answer some questions right here. So here the model shows us that Mrs. Nelson used a half of a cup of salt, okay? So she used this much right here, which is a half of a cup of salt, okay? And then uh, how many groups of one twelfth are equivalent to that one half right there, okay? So here's my one half right here. How many one twelfths? One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So six groups of a half. Uh, six groups of a twelfth are equivalent to that half right there. So one half divided by one twelfth is equal to six. So let's answer that question. So Mrs. Nelson fills six containers right there, okay? All right, hey, um, uh, write an expression that we can use to solve that problem. Well, we'll check this out, you guys. We started with two-thirds, so two-thirds when we took off that one-sixth right there. So um, uh, we're dealing with this right here. So two-thirds minus one-sixth gives us this much right here. And so if we divided that by tw uh, one-twelfth, this mess we'll be dealing with in later uh, chapter three or four. I don't know when that is. And then that's going to give us our answer. So here's an expression that represented that problem. Two thirds, take away that sixth right there. And we're looking for how many of these one twelfth sections will fall into that right there.
All right, so suppose that Mrs. Nelson starts with one and two-thirds cups, okay, of salt. Remember, we, she started with it, we started with this two-thirds cups. Well, what if she started with one and two-thirds cups of salt? Explain how we can find how many containers she filled. All right, well, let me just slide that up right there. All right, so one and two-thirds, you guys, what we can do is do the full one cup right there, and then here's the two-thirds. Well, we did the two-thirds in that prior problem right here, okay? So remember, this was half of it right here. Okay, so if this was half of a cup, here's uh, half of a cup right here. Here's half of a cup on this side right here. This half a cup counted for six of them right here. So if this is six, then this is going to be six, and this is going to be six, and so she's going to fill uh, 18 containers right there. She had one and two-thirds cups. Okay, kind of tricky. I hope that made sense, you guys, and take care.